okay, I haven't, I gotta pause this. I tried to play this Meek song and this advertisement came on before it. Here, I, uh, it's called The First Purge. It's a movie coming out July 2018. Now there was already a movie called The Purge and as this preview started playing, it's the exact same preview as The First Purge, which is the original Purge. This one is called The First Purge, but it's The Second Purge. The first one was actually called The Purge. The second one is called The First Purge. And they're playing the preview, and I'm like, is this a preview for a movie that came out three years ago? How would they do this? It's identical. And then at the end it says, oh, The First Purge, but it's the exact same preview. And 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 the announcer comes in and he says, uh, they say, you know, the purge, the, gov- the purge must happen because the government must ha- have the purge to save all citizens or some stupid. And the guy comes in tonight for 24 hours. All crime is legal, including murder. Why would you say that, you purient fuck? Why would you, unless you're just appealing to people's dumb bloodlust, the fact that these Hollywood phonies do all the shit it glorifies all the things they pretend to stand against. It's all smoke and mirrors. It's not that, just Hollywood, but it's all smoke and mirrors. The Hollywood kind of is probably where it starts. You know, it's all Oz. You're the sweaty man behind the curtain. Everyone on Instagram is just taking the best fucking picture they can and just posting it to be this great and all-powerful thing, and they're just sweating behind a curtain, and all you just do is rip open the curtain and pull their pants down. That's basically the only way I can survive in prison. I'm a funny guy. Funny people, I think, survive in prison, but I'm sick of giving away funny for free. I've been doing stand-up for 12 years, paid here and there. i got to get a real career out of this. You know, it bothers me in that Batman where the Joker says, if you're good at something, never do it for free. Well, that's how you start stand-up. You can't just walk in the doors and say, put me on Friends. And uh, they do it. Uh, What was I saying? It's all, you know, bump stocks are still legal. Nothing ever gets done, especially with all the busyness that we have. It's so easy to parlay and parlay. That's why this president is a a brilliant man as far as a a manipulator. He does understand the mind. And, uh, but, uh, you know, when you live in your own head, uh, that's where you live. So, uh. It's just, uh, what was I going to say? It's just that, why? oh, the purge. That's what I was even getting to. The whole reason I hit record on this stupid thing after not posting anything in a while is just that it made me, like, bile come up as, because they say the purge must happen for all citizens, and then a voice comes in, tonight all crime is legal, including murder. Well, why, why even, oh, I didn't think about that. You know, I, I saw a movie preview for a horror movie, and they said, tonight all crime is legal for 24 hours. Well, that's an interesting concept. I didn't think of anything violent. I was thinking, you know, I might just go to a restaurant and not pay my dinner. I might do a little uh, little gas and go tonight. The 24-hour legal crime, I might just get enough Tic Tacs to last me four years. I love those orange ones. I, uh, of course, murder. Why not put so- oh, tonight all crime is legal, including sodomy and child neglect? Well, the society doesn't accept those words. Murder is appealing to our bloodlust, or, or to your bloodlust. I, I haven't seen a murder. I don't have a television. I don't watch those shows with the murders. Uh, I don't know if I've seen a murder. I saw Indiana Jones once. I don't know if there was a murder in it. I think he, he survived. I know that, but he probably killed some zombie. But I don't know if it counts to kill the undead as a murder. First Purge uh, is the second in the series, and uh, it's supposed to be a prequel to the original. This is the, and it's the exact same preview. I mean, what, what are they, it's just amazing what they can pull off and, and just what makes money. Um, and, and just even the language, you know. It, the country would be horrified, horrified if we said, to, if the purge, the country needs to save it tonight. All, like, I, I don't want to keep repeating myself. But if they start saying other crimes, no. We would, there'd be an uprising, people with signs, no. But they can have this... Uh, and murder is like it's an advertisement. Call now and get a free murder. <laughs> Call right now and get a double murder for the price of one. That's right. Two killings for the price of none. You could listen to the Fortuitous, which is the one I did in like 2008 podcast. It's earlier on my on my YouTube page, but um, I still like it just because it, again, all horror movies. I just sit there. I'm never ever ever scared since I was a child. I mean, I'm I'm scared of being in a theater because I don't like being trapped in a theater. Like I just I, not even a theater. Just a, 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 a claustrophobic a little bit. I used to when I was like 15 or not 15, but like 16. Oh, well, that's a big difference, Steve. But you don't really. I don't even date when I was 15. But I would like go to the movies when I was 16, and I didn't want to sweat in the theater, and I didn't want to put my head against the seat because I don't want my hair touching all the dirty people's grease. Um, 
so I'd like be sitting forward the whole time, and then I would wrap my body, like on a date, I would wrap my body in toilet paper under my clothes, like a mummy. I'd mummify myself. I think there was someone running past my window as I said that, a little boy. Sorry, boy. <laughs> yeah, it was a boy. But uh, I had mummified myself in the theater, so any sweat would catch in, like, this clean Kleenex, or toilet paper, I mean. See, I said Kleenex there to try to not embarrass myself. It's toilet paper. I'd wrap myself like a mummy. I think that's why I kept seeing Indiana Jones. I, I, it's the only movie I saw. I don't like, uh, I don't like it. Well, I feel like I purged. Uh, I feel better about it. When I saw that, I just, uh, I just can't imagine that... People are going all over again. I don't want to go into the concept of the fortuitous podcast, but it's, you could have all the, the money you have left, a seven fifty exactly, and there's a man begging on the street, probably bleeding, and saying, begging you for quarters, and you would walk, step over him and walk in and say, uh, purge, please, the first one. And then you get a ticket, and you'd go in, and it would be the original movie that was came out three years ago, and then they just, everyone would be totally... It's just like DiGiorno. DiGiorno should start delivering just to fuck with people. Ding dong. Who is it? Delivery. Delivery who? DiGiorno. I thought it wasn't delivery. It was DiGiorno. Nope. Delivery. Okay. All right. Great talking to you for the first time in months. Steve, that is. Great talking to you, Steve, in the mirror. Great talking to you, Kitty. And to all the rest of the ghosts in the room. All right. Guilty as charged. Man, this is probably uh, stupid and longer than I wanted it to be. But uh, hopefully I'll get back to these again. And hopefully some else, someone's listening. They're getting views. I love that some, some of them have views. They're probably all by accident. But, like, one I have titled Sex with a Pizza. And it, like, got 100 views in an hour. Nothing else has 100 views in, like, months. I'm like, you just sick... And it's like a story. It's just a funny story. But no one, like, I'm sure no one listened to it. They just thought, oh, sex with a pizza? This is great. They just, even though it says audio on it. Like, I'd love to hear someone having sex with a pizza. No, it's a story about a pre-made pizza. It's not, you know, a would-have-been pizza. All right. Thank you.